Welcome back to my channel Lumsy Sews. In today's sewing tutorial, I will show you how to cut and sew a pencil skirt with butt allocation and high waistband. It's very simple and is beginner friendly. If that's what you want to learn, make sure not to skip any part of this video so that you don't miss any sewing tips and tricks. Let's start with the tutorial. To sew this with African fabric, I'll be using one and a half yards. If you're using any other fabric that is by 60, you can use one yard. I'm going to cut this on my pattern paper. So first, I'm going to mark the starting line, which will be the same thing as the waistline. And from this, I'll come down to the hip line, which is 8.25. I'll mark it here. And then the length of the skirt, which is 27 inches, my client is on the short side, so you can make yours 28 if you want it the same length. I'll go ahead and square this line out. I'm making sure the hip line, I square it out for both the front of the skirt and the back of the skirt. After squaring this out, the next thing I'm going to do is to mark the circumference of the skirt. I will divide the hip circumference divided by 4 and I'm going to mark that here. I'll square it down up and down and then this line will serve as the side seam for the front panel if you notice I haven't added any sewing allowance when I'm cutting it on the fabric I'll join that then I'm going to mark the circumference of the skirt so you're going to divide round your waist circumference divided by 4 and you're going to square this up here 0.5 I'll go ahead and connect this like this And with the curve ruler, you're going to connect this to the hip line like so. Next, I'm going to shape the side seam for the pencil skirt. I will come down from the hip line 3 inches. And from the waistline down to the knee length, which is 17 inches, I'll mark it here. On the knee line, I'm going to come in 1 inch for the shaping. And on the hem, I'm going to come in 1.5. I'll go ahead and connect all these points. This will make the pencil skirt to sit properly. Next, I'm going to mark the waist dart. So I'm going to divide whatever I have from here in, into three. One third of feet from the waist from the side seam, I'm going to come in one third of what I have there. And then I'm going to come down 5.5 inches and mark it here. On that line, I'm going to make one inch that allowance. And I'm going to connect all the lines like this. With this, I'm done drafting the front panel for the skirt. So I'm going to label this center front, front panel. And we're going to go over to the back of the skirt. I'll square out a straight line. And this line will serve as the back side of this, the center back for the skirt. Remember, I already squared the hip line out from the front side of the skirt. So I'm going to extend that hip line like that. I've extended both the waistline and the hip line. So from the center back, I'm going to mark the circumference, the hip circumference divided by 4 plus 0 0.5 for ease. I'll square these lines down to the hemline and the waistline. I'll go ahead and connect this line. So this will serve as the side seam for the skirt. Next from the center back i'm going to mark the waist divided by four plus two inches for that i'll go ahead and take this up 0.5 i'll connect this to the center front of center back of the skirt just like we did in the front the for the front panel and then i'm going to connect this to the side seam Also, I would shape the side seam for the back, just the same thing I did for the front. So I'll come down 3 inches from the hip line 
and also from the waist down to the knee length which is 17 inches i'll come in one inch here and one and a half inches at the hem i'll go ahead and connect all these points just the same thing i did for the front next i'm going to mark the dart for the back so i'm going to divide whatever i have the waistline divided by three and i'm going to mark it here on these lines i'm going to mark that so i'm going to mark one inch that which is half inch on both sides for the two that legs i'll take the that leg this that leg i will take it down 5.5 inches and for the front i'm going to take it 6.5 inches i'll go ahead and connect this line like this with this the skirt pattern is ready both the front of the skirt and the back of the skirt so i'll go ahead and cut all this out leaving all these places that i've marked like i said i don't have any sewing allowance added so when i'm cutting on the fabric i'm going to add the sewing allowance so at first i'm going to place the front panel of the skirt on the fabric like this i make sure i have all my sewing allowance added and i'm going to add and i'm going to cut this out i added one inch at the hem and for the side seam i added one inch and on the waistline i added half inch on the front i'm going to come down one inch for the waist shaping i'm going to connect it to the side seam like this Next, I'll go to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew the dart area. And for the back, I'm going to shape the back. So this is the back pattern. We are going to shape the butt. Remember, this is a pencil skirt with bust allocation. So I'll come in here from the center front half inch and I'll go out one inch. And then from the waistline, I'm going to come down to under the butt, which is 16 inches. I'll mark that there. And from there, I'm going to come in one inch and do the same thing at the hem. I'll go ahead and connect this. And then I'm going to connect the butt shaping like this. Just cover it properly so that it's not bulging at the back. So with this, you have your hips allocation, your butt allocation in inclusive. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. I'll use this pattern and cut out on the main fabric. Remember, I've not added any sewing allowance when I was drafting this. So after this pattern drafting, I'll go ahead and place this on my fabric and cut out. Next, I'm going to go to my sewing machine and sew the dart area. And I will also leave the zipper allowance open. And then I'm going to close this place and leave the, the slit opening. If you notice, I've marked space for the slit opening. I'll go ahead and fold that for the slit opening. After sewing it, this is how it's looking. As you can see, I have added the slit opening and this place I've left it for zip. Next, I'm going to make the pattern drafting for the waistband. For me to do that, I'm going to use the pattern, the skirt pattern, place it like this, and I'm going to close the, the dart. So close the dart like this so that we can draw out a silhouette that we are going to be following. After closing this, I'll go ahead and mark the line out. So you shape, you mark this shape, the shape of the skirt like this. Yeah. 
from here i'm going to take the measurements of the length of the waistline so on the side seam i'm just going to square this line up like this and with this silhouette i'm going to take 3.5 inches for the waistband the width of the waistband so you just go ahead and take 3.5 inches all around remember when i was drafting this i didn't add any sewing allowance to the pattern so i'm going to cut this out like this when i'm cutting on my fabric i will add the sewing allowance i'll go ahead and do the same thing to the the back so i'll label this center front up side and front i'll place the back like that closing all the dots and i'm going to trace off the waistline I'll also measure out three and a half inches after squaring the lines up. As you can see, I've cut out on my fabric both for the lining and the main bodies and the main fabric. So I'll go ahead and place this on the waistline like this. As you can notice, I've already added interfacing to the one I'm adding to the main fabric, the one I'm using as the main fabric. So I'm going to go ahead first of all and sew the waistline. The same thing to the front. So this is it after joining it to the waistline, after joining the waistband to the waistline. So I'll go ahead and place the back and the front like this and I'm going to sew the side seam. For the lining, I also did the same thing. I've closed the side seam. So I'm going to, I've already added zip to this. So I'm going to place this on the waistline like this open it out on the zipper area and you're going to place it like this and you're going to sew away half inch sewing allowance all around i'll turn it over like this and close the the zipper area so this is it after sewing the waistline as you can see i've already closed the zipper area you can see that so the next thing I'm going to do is what I like to do is to do a stitch in the ditch. I'll go to my machine now and I'm going to sew it in there. After sewing it, this is how it's looking all neat. You can see how the inside is looking and how the outside is looking very neat. So I'll just go ahead and zip it up so that you see how it's looking so guys we have actually come to the end of today's sewing tutorial i'll see you guys in my next video bye